Welcome to Mohi Talk, episode 7, the worst podcast on the internet. Today I'm receiving Ravioli Boy, a German meme creator. I'm gonna let you introduce yourself, tell, the, tell everything you want to tell about yourself. Hey man, uh, thanks for having me. Uh, my name is Max, you can call me Max. Um, I, okay. I uh, manage the page Ravioli Boy, which I created, I think, like a year or like... Uh, almost two years ago now. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm also not actually German. <laughs> I'm Dutch, but I. Uh, I've, oh, I've, sorry. Yeah, but I live in Germany. Like I've lived here for a okay. long time, so That's no worries tough. there. Uh, yeah. Well, thanks for having me. I'm looking forward to it. <clears throat> yeah, sure. Oh, excuse, excuse me. <laughs> Everybody's having a cough. Usually we start by talking about memes. Uh, do you have a, a meme lately that you really love or that you really hate? Or maybe a memory of a meme from years ago that you remember uh, of? Yes, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. I, ha I have a meme that I great. hate, uh, ah, great. which is the, the moth meme. Oh, okay. I, I can't stand it. It's like, it's so obnoxious. I'm, I'm glad that it's gone now. Uh, I, I I loved it. I don't understand why you hate it. I Please, think it uh, was explain. just too much, probably. I think like uh, the whole thing how it started with like the brother uh, may I have some loops and then lamp and yeah. I don't know. Like I, I, I it was kind of funny uh, when it started, but I think it just went on for too long. And it's it, it was okay. I think it's also because it's not very versatile. Like it's always the same punchline. It's always the same joke. There's not really much to it. I actually created like a. Uh, uh, a parody meme of that just to to kind of like uh, make, make oh yeah the, the, the snake with the yeah. legs <laughs> yeah exactly yeah it, that's good that's a great meme yeah I think so too I love it maybe you can help uh, me to push it oh yeah sure no problem amazing and uh, but yeah yeah actually started with um, uh, oats yeah uh, it's it was it was a pig and with the oh, oats oh right and then yeah the, that one was great yeah. though I love that yeah, the that, first that was one was the really good. The, the with first the one weird was video yeah. with the with the two pigs from the old painting. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That was so that was so good. That was really good. Uh, yeah. And then it disappeared, and then it came back with the uh, with, with the loops. Yeah. Uh, and then came the moth uh, it, and ruined everything. <laughs> <laughs> you think the moth is bad, but have you seen the beaver with the oh, dam? Oh god! And, the, and now and they're the, starting with uh, what is it? Um, the printer and the magenta yeah, ink. Yeah, the printer, exactly. And also, uh, with now they started with the raccoon and trash. And like they really, yeah, I haven't seen that, that one that yet. That one's like I think it started like today, but it's all over. <laughs> it's just uh. they can't let it die. It's amazing. <laughs> I haven't been too much on the internet today, but uh, okay, uh, I I missed uh, the the raccoon and, <laughs> and the trash. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make one with uh, my rats and the uh, peanuts. Rats love. Oh peanuts. yes, cool. Or, or or cheese. Oh yeah. And then uh, yeah, of course, um, and uh, maybe a chrome and uh, ram. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, people will like that. Yeah, I think so uh, too. Apple and money, Mark Zuckerberg and your personal data. Yeah, it's just such an easy <laughs> format. Like you can you can come up with two things that yeah. like uh, uh, work together and 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 just uh, yeah, but use it. That's what <clears throat> that's what makes it good, in my opinion. Hmm. Yeah, I guess in a sense, it's it, it is kind of versatile in that sense. Like I, yeah. I think the whole format is kind of uh, it works, but I just didn't like the one with the moth because it was like so big, and I did I it just. There wasn't any one of those memes didn't make uh, none of those make me laugh. So it was kind yeah, of yeah, cool. I get it. Uh, it w it was weird though uh, because uh, the moth meme like started and then a few days later uh, there was an invasion of moths in a village in France. Oh really? And so I, I was like, yeah, that was such a weird coincidence. Sometimes <laughs> there are, you got weird ones. Uh, but um, do you think? Because I'm. I, uh, I I like this theory that I saw uh, recently, that all these uh, the loops, the lamps, or the oats is just a resurgence, like a uh, reincarnation in a way of uh, I can has cheeseburger. 
yeah exactly i think i think is it? yeah it is i i totally agree i think memes have come uh, a long way and i but i think in yeah. their in their core they're still the old memes with the impact font and the uh i can cheeseburgers i think yeah all, all of absolutely. those like uh 4chan paint uh faces they're the same as rage faces like there, there's not yeah. a difference it's the same thing and I think mm -hmm. that's what memes do. They kind of circulate, they come back to themselves. And I think all of the formats we enjoy uh, today, we've enjoyed in some other form uh, or shape, uh, like five years ago, ten years ago, probably. Exactly. I, I absolutely agree with that. And um, what's interesting to me, I haven't really um, gave it a, a lot of thought yet, but uh, it's, an, it's an idea that I find interesting that... Um, nowadays, we see memes that resemble internet memes from like 10 or 15 years ago. Yeah. And, but but what, I, what, um, what is my uh, theory is that all these are like jokes that have always existed. And so uh, what I want to try and, and find is what was this meme before the internet. Right. Because I'm convinced that this joke has existed as long as civilization has existed. <laughs> I'm sure that the Egyptians and the and the Greeks uh, all, all already had this kind of um, this kind of routine, this kind of comedy, this this, this bit. And so I, I want to try and, and find examples uh, like maybe in old TV shows to to for for start. And um, do you think I'm I'm completely wrong, or do you think it's a viable idea no no for sure i think there's like in, in some egyptian tomb there's like hieroglyphics on the wall and there's a, a dude kneeling before like a, a a pharaoh probably and he's like brother may i have some papyrus i i, <laughs> I think definitely uh those kind of jokes have existed forever i don't i think um uh, modern memes, they're all about being abstract, right? They're all about kind of like taking away the standard format and making it hard to understand and kind of obscure. I mean, that's how the whole surreal meme thing started. People wanted memes that weren't uh, to be understood. Yep. Like, you, you can't just look yeah, at yeah. it and get it straight away. The whole point is yep. kind of like you laugh at it because it makes no sense. And I mean, that's weird because uh, it's also kind of the same thing. It's like the uh, people criticize it a lot when you make something and you try to be funny, but it's just uh, something nonsensical. Like they'll be like, oh, yeah, lol, random, the random humor. But um, in, in surreal memes, it kind of worked for a long time. I, I personally think they're absolutely dying. If you look at the subreddit, it's, it's a yes, mess. Yes, but they are. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm involved with the people who run the subreddit. I'm like, uh, oh, I talk okay. to them and it, it's... I think the guy who uh, manages the Discord, he's kind of like, he has big plans. Um, but I kind of stopped following the whole thing a while ago when it all went downhill. Yeah, it's, it seems to be dying, uh, and the absurd memes that were really popular in like 2015, 2016, they're not as, as popular as they used to be. Yeah. Now it's all about wholesome memes and respectful memes. Yeah, that's, with the, that's really the new trend that is check emerging your right, uh, at the moment. Yeah, yeah, oh, I see that. Yeah, but it's a good thing, right? A day. Yeah, of course it's good. Yeah, positive um, reinforcement. It's, it's the. I, I like the absurd memes and I, I like the wholesome memes. I like all kinds. I'm I'm uh, really not a, a, a meme snob. Yeah. I'm kind of a meme bob. <laughs> uh, but yeah, from you know. Well done. But uh, but yeah, the the, the surreal memes. Um, uh, I I think the um, it came um, from uh, a desire when memes started to become popular. Uh, to have uh, an isolated community uh, with inside jokes that only people that were part of the community could understand. Yes. I think that's why they became so popular. Um, I, I, uh, in, uh, and then uh, they were gone so fast because at first they were popular, but in a community of people who were like, People who know 4chan, people who know people who know what shit posting means. Yeah. You know, people who are in the in the meme community, uh, uh, and then uh, after years of being used a lot, especially on Facebook, they became popular with uh, basically everyone that uh, looks at memes. Uh, the, uh, like uh, people like Fuck Jerry started using them. And uh, I have nothing against Fuck Jerry, uh, by the way. He's n he's not uh, he's not so fluent. I don't, I don't yeah, even I know who that is. 
Oh, that's just a, a memer, kind of like you and me, but he's uh, he's got millions of followers on Instagram oh, and right. celebrities follow him. Damn. Uh, but he's, he makes kind of good content, not very different from what I do, actually. So I, I got a lot of respect for him. Uh, maybe, maybe not a lot, but I, I, I do respect <laughs> as him. As much respect as you can have for a memer. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, that's it, and um, yeah, uh, he's he's doing a, a great job at making memes popular, which is at the same time good and bad. A lot of people think it's really bad. Yeah, it's double edged, uh, right? It's double edged. It's, it's, it's like very yeah. controversial because on the one hand. I, you want people to enjoy it, but on the other hand, you don't want it to become like a standard mainstream stuff. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of weird uh, when you think about it. I don't think it's as bad as most people who are in the meme community uh, purport it to be. Um, I I don't think it's it's really a, a bad thing. Sometimes it's bad when uh, independent little creators get uh, their their art stolen yeah, yeah. but they get but for so, but for for someone like me who just finds funny shit on, on Tumblr and, and Reddit and 4chan and just reposts it uh, it's it's fine uh, they can steal from me anytime they want yeah. I make almost no original content especially recently I make less and less yeah that's uh, interesting like, um, though let's let's maybe talk about that because we we both yeah, sure. do very different stuff because I only create original content if you can even call it that and and you almost uh, exclusively repost stuff but I, I think you're yeah. kind of like a curator right you go through all Absolutely, of the stuff yes. and through all the nooks and crannies yeah. of the internet and you find stuff that appeals to you and and you kind of curated on your page which then creates Absolutely. like uh, 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 also creates insider jokes and, and the whole culture of people who, who, yeah. who get your stuff and your uh, kind of taste and memes and they all share the same uh, stuff because I've been following your page for for like a long time now and this there have been some yeah. really good like insider jokes and and kind of like running mm -hmm. gags with the very expensive milkshake and uh, also the woman from that weird uh, comic that I think you also had her on the podcast right Yes, Heather Boyd. Yeah, yeah of course. Like yeah. all, all yeah, of yeah. that, how how that just like uh, comes to be, just from kind of like reposting shit on the internet. I think I think it's pretty cool. Well, what interested me from the start was always the interaction with the community, not so much the meme themselves. They're yeah. just they're just a means for me. They're not an end. There are means to laughter and comedy and having a good time and sharing a good time with people that are like-minded and like the same kind of humor. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's like so, sharing uh, your favorite kind of music. Uh, immediately you have something yeah. to talk about and something that you share. So, yeah, it makes sense that people who like the same kind of jokes, they would also uh, work in a social environment. Yeah, I'm I'm to memes what a DJ is to music. Yeah. <laughs> Some people re but but yeah, it's, it's really that. Some people respect it. Some people don't, and that's fine. Both uh, have a kind of make sense. Yeah. Uh, but uh, but yeah, I, I spend a lot of time. Uh, I spend more time interacting with the community, responding to comments, uh, talking to people, and 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 much more time doing that than researching and posting memes. Yeah, for sure. So. It's the for me it's the the interaction with the community and the uh, the community building you know B building a, 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 com a community is what is really interesting for me uh, and that was always like that from the start yeah uh, that's because and th that's why somewhat sometimes I post a lot of OC sometimes I post not at all and I post whatever the hell I want because the content is not so much. Uh, interesting to me as uh, what it does and how people react to it and and how the community you know builds itself around this yeah absolutely it's the same for me it's it's uh, i've struggled with it but i think it's what sets you apart from other people because uh if i follow like a meme page and i mean i'm 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 really not an authority on memes i mean uh, <laughs> i'm fucking a manager page on facebook which is not something like uh 
uh, a lot of people would consider to be uh, anything positive in like meme mm -hmm. meme culture, but whatever. I mean, uh, when I follow some people, page, some people even think it's not a real job. Yeah, Can you believe that's that? Uh, <laughs> unfathomable. <laughs> but um, so so when I follow like just uh, some random page and they never post like any text posts or anything, I just it's it's like a it's like a feed being distributed. I have the same relationship to the people managing that page as I have to the people uh, kind of like running the, the news channel on my TV, you know, I'm only getting content, yeah. but I'm not interacting with them. And with you, it's yeah. always been a person behind there. There's always been like opinions and personal stuff. And I think that's why your page stands out more than others, because it's not just like a, a content feed. It's, it's also just like a genuine community that has built around it. And that's yeah, pretty that's unique. So. Yeah, yeah, that, that's why I, I, um, I try to do some kind of, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> no worries. That's why, I, <laughs> that's why I try to do some kind of blogging, you know, sometimes I, I talk about random stuff like a dream I had or something my rats did or yeah. what I ate for lunch, uh, you know, and I, I can make, uh, I can make a meme out of that and I can make people laugh just by, by telling the most random shit. Uh, because there's, there's, um, you know, there's, um, I don't even know how to, how to, um, how to explain it, but, uh, there's a thing. Uh, it's kind of like, uh, what Andy Kaufman, uh, did. Not really the same, but we kind of, I don't know if you're familiar with the comedy of Andy Kaufman. Mm, sadly not but, really. Uh, it's, it's someone that inspires me a lot. Uh, I'm, I'm not doing exactly what he did, but, uh, yeah, um, there was a, 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 a comedy bit that he did for a while, I think it was in the 70s, uh, where he just went on stage and he, he ate a whole turkey and then he he went away. And that was the whole thing. Right. And uh, it was kind of like the, the extremely absurd comedy. But uh, but there was, um, you know, there was a thing. Uh, I don't want to say an aura, or, uh, but uh, there was, you know... You you ah, it's hard to explain actually. It's, but it's, I'm it's sure absurdist that... humor. It's 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 uh, just uh, the same thing we talked about before. Of things not making sense or, or, or kind of. I mean, comedy is in its, its essence uh, averting uh, expectations, right? You you want to surprise people with something, and if yeah. people go to a comedy show, the last thing they expect is a guy eating a turkey and and, and leaving the stage. So I yeah. think that's why that works, and I, I also I, I, I would have find, found it really funny. I would have like not even mind <laughs> paying money for that, but um, yeah, I think there was a yeah. there was like a, something in Holland where people had like a, or maybe it wasn't in Holland. People are gonna correct mm -hmm. me on this, but I think there were like it was was like a comedy duo, and they were. Uh, putting on a show, but instead of showing up, they just, or maybe they had like a, I think they organized a stage, but the whole stage, all the actors were dogs, and oh. and it wasn't, I mean, there was no play, because dogs, they, they can't memorize a role or anything, so it was just dogs on the stage for like two hours, and they weren't nice. like uh, trained to do anything special, they were just kind of like hanging out and walking, walking about. And then the whole thing ended and people were just like, what just happened? Like, we just watched, like, dogs for two hours do nothing. I would watch that. Yeah. I love dogs. <laughs> I think it would be uh, chill, that, just sitting there, talking to your friends, idea. watching some dogs. Yeah, it, it reminds me of this, um, this British uh, uh, artist, uh, musician, uh, in the, I think it was in the early 60s. And yeah, the, she, she was from the UK. And uh, she... she uh, one time she um, she did a concert, but instead of playing music, she just kept smashing glass uh, on stage uh, uh, near uh, and uh, you know and then uh, she put some effects uh, uh, in in the mic like reverb and shit yeah. and she just for for uh, for two hours <laughs> just to smash some windows and shit. Which is what we're and, doing and right now, right? We're gonna smash some windows for two hours and, and <laughs> people can yeah. listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Why not? I mean, uh, I, I, I don't think that uh, it will ever be really popular. This kind of humor, this kind of uh, a comedy, even if uh, it has some niche, and it, the, the, the proof is that uh, n nobody did the same thing ever since. We talk about yeah. uh, these, these kind of things, but 
there are not there are not a lot of people who who do it. Uh, it's very d I, divisive as well. I think the whole abstract uh, art stuff. Yeah. Uh, because if I go to a play like a normal theater play. I don't, I don't like abstract stuff because I feel like I, I, I want a cohesive story. I want to kind of like uh, take something with me and not just like yes. watch random stuff. But if it's if it's done in a funny way, it can be really effective, and I think it can be really cool. I, I like. Um, kind of uh, what I already said, I like uh, uh, diverting expectations when you build up an expectation and then you do something yes. completely differently. I think like comedians like Bo Burnham, for example, he does a great job at that where he kind of like in the middle of a song, he'll build up a verse and you will expect a certain word because it rhymes, but then he kind of like he, he either completely stops or he, he makes another joke or he kind of like rhymes it with yeah. a different word. Stuff like that mm -hmm. I think is really, really effective and funny. Yeah, I I kind of hate Paul Burnham. And I don't, <laughs> really? I, I don't find I yeah, but I don't find that funny. But I understand why some people find it funny. And, and uh, I mean, if it works, it works. I I don't. Uh, there is no you know. It's all subjective. There is no right and wrong uh, in art or or comedy. Yeah. Or, you know. Well, uh, it's I, just, I'm I'm interested. If, tell if tell me why you why you don't like Paul Burnham. I don't really know. Uh, there, I don't really have a reason. It's just I, I've watched uh, his comedy. I've, I've watched like uh, a bunch of stuff that he did, and I never laughed even once. Really? I, I couldn't. Yeah, I couldn't really explain why. It's just not funny to me. But you know, it's subjective. Yeah, that's it's interesting. Just, no, I, I mean, I, 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 I haven't. I've just I never haven't watched met anyone who who didn't like him. So that's really interesting for me. I haven't watched him enough uh, to have the time to analyze why I don't like it. Ah, I guess, but yeah. I, but uh, yeah, I've watched like a, a bunch of sketches. Like I've watched uh, a bunch of different extract from his uh, uh, from his shows, and I think I've watched a total of about one hour. So uh, oh, to have really a good idea, because because I had a lot of friends yeah. uh, that loved him and that uh, that said that uh, I I may. Um, may laugh and I, that I may like him so I, I decided to give a, a try and I well, yeah I never laughed even once uh, but uh, but I understand why some people uh, find that funny I mean uh, it's a, it's a, it's a kind of humor that I mean it's all subjective and I think that if you made some people happy if you, some people enjoy your stuff then you, then your job is well done. Yeah, you have and, and a right that's, to, that's to continue. That's all that you need to be uh, to be good. Exactly. Well, for me, it's not even that much that he's funny. It's more. I just. I think it's very clever. I think he he's really mm. he's really smart and, and intelligent in okay. the way he does his humor and his comedy and also his songs. I think there's a lot of uh, difficult topics that he manages to kind of like juggle in a way that feels weightless, but it's actually uh -huh. like uh, very difficult topics. I, I mean, he he. He did a song about like suicide, and 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 he did it in a way, which was just so clever because it it, it, it he he tells you to kill yourself, and then he yeah. he he takes that back and he he goes on about like not killing yourself and kind of being uh, responsible and he 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 gets really serious about it and you're like oh now bummer and now I'm thinking about suicide and then he takes it back to comedy and he's like yeah but kill yourself so it's kind of like. He finds a good balance between what's serious and what's funny, and that's that's uh, interesting because that's that's the thing I'm trying to do with with uh, the stuff I make, where I try to actually kind of like hide little uh, uh, hints at at serious topics I'm thinking about yeah. and stuff that that uh, kind of like keeps me up at night, but also just uh, not make any sense and kind of like be funny and and, and lighthearted. Yeah, absolutely. No, I understand. I do that all the time, but usually I hide it under so many layers of irony that uh, uh, not not a lot of people uh, catch the hint. Yeah, and it, it's probably better that way because I'm not really good at it. But uh, yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's a viable way to uh, deliver a message. There's nothing wrong about it. It's just not something that I usually enjoy. But uh, you know, it's. Um, uh, uh, what I like most uh, in your kind of comedy is when you make fun of uh, things that are, you know, uh, like your 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 uh, memes about with the snakes uh, and the legs. I I love that. <laughs> that's uh, in my opinion when you do parodies uh, of, of things that that's uh, what you 
that's what you do better. Uh, uh, it's in my opinion that that what's that is what makes me love the most. Yeah, um, I I remember I, I remember when I did like a whole month of isopod memes, which are just yeah. whenever I do something like that, I just I I go onto Reddit, I look for most popular meme formats, and I just force a meme. I just like. Because I, I usually when that happens, I'm really fed up with something that has uh, kind of like gotten popular, and I'm like Jesus yeah. Christ! Like let me show you how easy it is. Just like take this meme format, like Photoshop some random picture in it, make up a punchline, and act like this is a funny meme, and then I just like go overboard with it and make like 50 of them. You know that there is a whole subreddit that is just for that. Uh, no, I didn't. I think it's called uh, meme assassins or um, oh, just like no, butchering oh, meme yeah. formats. Uh, it's uh, yeah, it's a, they take popular memes that are not good and then they try to make them the, the most cringe uh, <laughs> possible and then they they spread the, that on um, on Facebook. Oh, I remember amazing. the name. It's called Comedy Hitmen. Okay, that's great. I'll look it up. You can try. I, I should uh, contribute that's the name to of the that. That's the name of the subreddit. You're probably gonna love it. Okay. It's uh, cool. uh, so we were talking about uh, suicide. Uh, what uh, is your opinion on the trend of depression memes? Damn! What a what I've, a segue. I've, I've heard everything about uh, depression memes. I know a lot of people who love them. I know a lot of people who hate them. Uh, and uh, what's your take? Ah, uh, you know, whatever. I think it's it's good because it it spreads awareness. Uh, it's it's the same with with every mention of suicide. It doesn't like it doesn't matter to me if it's a meme or a, a, I don't know like a show on Netflix or whatever. It's it's about handling the topic uh, in with care. You know, it's it's a very sensitive subject and and people are actually struggling. And for me, uh, uh, comedy uh, has no rules and no bounds. Like I, I think if you can yeah. make fun of something, you should make fun of anything. Yes, uh, kind of like, I agree. You know, like the South Park philosophy. If, if yeah. everybody gets gets made fun of, and I think um, mm -hmm. that that is uh, something I am comfortable with. But some people aren't. Some people need their 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 safe spaces. And I, I mean, I I don't advocate for uh, controlling uh, content towards the, the, the kind of like the, the, the insecurities of people. But uh, because they, they have their own freedom to kind of like uh, block every every content they don't want to see. But I yeah, do sure. think that you have to be careful, especially with suicide um, as a topic, because uh, people who are suicidal, they could see something like that and it could actually uh, drive them to, to make the bad decisions or, or rethink the whole thing uh, over again. Um, but then on the I other don't... hand, uh, if, if it's... If it's uh, if they see, oh my god, all these people I look up to, all these funny meme guys, all this, all these celebrities, or all these pages, all these commenters on this page, they all struggle with the same stuff I struggle with, yes. then that yes. can help them, and that can kind of like yes, I th make them less yeah. isolated and alone. Yeah, 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 that's my opinion yeah. as well. Um, I don't, yeah. And talking about safe spaces, I don't understand why so many people are against safe spaces. Yeah, uh, it's it's kind of if I as long as you don't impose that to other people, then uh, then it's it's probably a good thing. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think as people I, should just feel I, good, right? Like, I'm someone who is really, really against censorship and really, really in favor of free speech. Like with uh, no restrictions, mm -hmm. and uh, f I I think that freedom of speech should be complete. And so, if, if some people need to go inside of their safe spaces uh, to to not be offended, then it's kind of good because it means that they're not going to be censoring other people. Yeah, that's I mean, what I was trying to I, say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't understand how you can be uh, against it. I mean, I understand why some people make make fun of it. Uh, but uh, I, it's it's kind of it's kind of weird how you, you can you be a, because yeah it's um, it's it's a way to give more people more freedom. Yeah, I guess. I think. I think. I th yeah. Uh, w w I mean, let's try not to get too much into politics or like uh, social uh, stuff because I think then this podcast could like last a week probably because I think there's just <laughs> so much to say about the like the po current political climate and all that stuff and like left and right and centrist and 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 alt right and all, all the stuff that's happening worldwide and it's it's a mm. mess. 
But I think the the thing to kind of take away from it all, for me at least, is just let people kind of like be happy and 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 let everybody express themselves and everybody. We're, we're all just humans. Like I I don't believe yeah. in race. I don't believe in, in in nationalism. I don't believe in in like all the all the borders of sexuality. Like just let people be whatever they want to be. Like I don't personally. Uh, like furries, like I, I find a lot of it very <laughs> cringy and, and awkward and weird. But I wouldn't be mean to someone who's a furry or who identifies that way. I wouldn't kind of like try to impose on their freedom or their rights. Just let them be. I mean, even if you don't personally agree with it, and I am a very open person uh, generally, but like stuff like that even is for me a bit hard to to understand. But even if you don't personally agree with it, just kind of like just don't don't look at it i guess like just let people do their stuff and as long as it doesn't hurt anybody i don't see the problem with it because pe yeah. people will say oh it goes both ways just let people be nazis if they want to but i mean th th being a nazi is not a lifestyle choice uh, about your identity it's it's about hurting other people and 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 kind of like uh trying to 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 create a world where some people are worth more than others and I, I'm, i'm extremely against that and i just don't understand the the whole ideology uh behind that how somebody can see that as a reality well it's uh yeah that could last that discussion could last uh, a week of course absolutely yeah uh, i i can i gotta say i i can i kind of understand um, even if I don't agree I, I understand where it comes from and uh, it's also a, a, a community thing and uh, what, what, also what exactly it, right now it's, uh, it's also a, a, a matter of you know belonging to a community yeah what, um, which 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 thing are you talking about Uh, I, I'm talking the Nazis. Oh right, okay. About yeah. the Nazis. of course. And um, and yeah, it's it's uh, it's all a community thing. It's a tribe thing. Some people some people call it tribalism. Some yeah. people call it I identity politics. Yeah, it's being indoctrinated uh, into like a, a, a and, pattern um, of thought. But uh, but yeah, I I I think it's. I don't think it's good, but I think it's understandable. <laughs> Shit, for, <laughs> I had an idea for a lot. Uh, yeah. Yeah, please tell, please do tell. Talking about all of this, I mean, if you're thinking about it, all of the, like, culty stuff and, like, uh, nationalism and and, yeah. and and also religion and all of that stuff, that, <laughs> you know the meme with the with the pills that are hard to swallow? Yeah. <laughs> It's basically, like, ideas that are easy to swallow, you know? People, <laughs> they, they get, like, yes. uh, kind of, like, a world view. Like, this is how the world works. These are your friends. These are your enemies. And that's so easy to just live by that because you don't have to think yes. for yourself. So it's ideas that yes. are easy to swallow. And Absolutely. Yeah. And people like exactly. people like not, exactly. not working for for like their they don't want to think about everything because it's really tedious. Exactly. I think about everything it's, and I hate it. Yeah. It's a, it's a form of laziness. Having con having convictions, especially if your convictions are extreme, it's something that is really comfortable. Yeah. It's like an it's like this nice couch. It's comfortable, and of yeah, course. Yeah. And of course if you stay all your life in your couch then you're gonna be a beast and a piece of shit. Yeah, and, that's a good analogy, I like that. You're not working out your mind, you're kind of like whether just it, sitting yeah, on your ass. And whether it is being a Nazi or an SJW or a communist or a fundamentalist uh, religious, uh, it's kind of the same thing. It's these things that are, that, uh, are for uh, lazy minds. Yeah. And that make, it's, it's like you put your brain on low energy, like on energy saving mode. Yeah. And uh, it's like you put your brain on, on this really comfortable couch. And so it's understandable. I, 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 I don't think it's like, I don't think it's so crazy to be uh, an, a, a Nazi. I, I think it's wrong, but I, I, I think it's human at the same time. It's comfortable uh, to be to, to think that you're uh, a, a, a guy of the master race and that you're better than other people just because you were born like that. It's really comfortable. Yeah, it must uh, be it nice. Means, I mean, <laughs> it imagine means waking up every yeah. day and thinking you're the best thing on earth. Like, <laughs> that must be really nice. That must be that must be um, good for people who are really lazy, uh, because or just uh, 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 when, when you're like that, you don't. 
it's kind of the same thing when you think about it being mm. insecure and being lazy. It's kind of the same thing. It's kind of when you, you think you have flaws, but you don't really want to uh, make them better or to make your flaws disappear or work on them. Because everyone has flaws and everyone has to work uh, to become better. Everyone has to work to, 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 to become a, 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 a good human being. And so whether you think that... Uh, you, if, if people who are insecure are kind of the same, even if it's not as harmful for other people, it's more harmful for them. Uh, but yeah, people who are Nazis, they think they're part of the master race, and so they don't have to work to better themselves because they're already the best. And, uh, and it's the same for people who are insecure because they think they're like uh, too fat or too stupid or too whatever, and, and, and they think it's like... A fatality and it's it's like that it, there's nothing that they can do about it and so they don't have to work to better themselves so it's the kind it's the same root of the the those mindsets in my opinion yeah uh, maybe i'm maybe i'm talking out of my ass of course uh, i i'm sure that some people will think that i'm i'm talking complete nonsense but it's really my opinion that it's a form of extreme laziness of the mind uh, people who are who have like uh, complexes, uh, whether it's superiority or inferiority, it's a form of extreme mind laziness and putting your brain on a comfortable cushion and uh, making making it do uh, at least work as possible because it's comfortable. Yeah, and no, so I definitely see what you're saying. I don't think I agree I'm, with the with the lazy part though. I don't think I would call it lazy. I think it's it's uh, insecurity is better because. Um, Lazy kind of I don't like the word lazy like at all uh, in general, but I think lazy kind of like gives you this idea of They don't want to like they want to kind of like just sit back and don't do anything But I think a lot of people they just they don't know any better. They can't they've just been like indoctrinated uh, with a mindset that that is easy to swallow and because they yes. They haven't been educated in a way that makes them question things. They kind of just accept it well, I guess you yes, could call it lazy, but but but, hmm. but yeah, that's what you say. It's it's easy to swallow. That's why I call it lazy laziness. They swallowed it because it's easy to swallow and it's comfortable. Yeah. Uh, I I'm sure that there is a better word. Yeah, than I guess it's laziness. just semantics. Doesn't really matter. I think we're on the same yeah. page. Maybe you could maybe you could call it gemütlichkeit. Or, <laughs> I don't know. Well done. But, I didn't know you <laughs> spoke German. A, a little, just a little, but um, but yeah, I think it's it's this kind of concept, you know. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely agree. Uh, yeah, maybe we should move on from that topic though, because it's <laughs> could get out of hand. It's a lot. Just yeah, no, no problem. Yeah, we can talk about anything. There's. Uh, uh, I, I remember when I started, uh, if you listen to my first episode, I say, there's only one rule, no politics. Yeah, and, right. then, uh, <laughs> and also I, I call the podcast Mojito Cast because, uh, yeah, the conceptualization wasn't uh, perfect at the time. I, I hadn't worked on the concept enough. But now uh, I, I've changed my mind and I think we should be able to talk about whatever we want. But also I understand why it can be boring for some people to listen uh, to uh, two assholes talk about <laughs> politics for three hours. Yeah, so, man, I, uh, I listen a lot to Harmontown and that's four assholes talking about politics for, for uh, an hour. So. Okay. <laughs> I'm used to it. I think people. Um, I don't know. I think there's there's probably more interesting stuff to talk about. People maybe want like some escapism. They don't want to hear about the the bad shit in the world. But uh, on the other hand, it's it's important not to uh, close yourself off and kind of like stop thinking about it because it is real and it is happening and and, and society is changing right now and we need to be aware of that. So, well, yeah. society has always been changing. It's not a, it's not recent. No, thing. of course. I don't think I don't think it's changing more uh, today than uh, I don't know a hundred years ago or a thousand years ago. Um, of course, there's a thing that is now. It's the the communication that we are able to to do uh, with the internet and the smartphones. We can talk to anyone at any time. Of, I mean, anyone. We can talk to uh, people in any country uh, or almost uh, and uh, at almost any time, and we can uh, gather information and ex exchange with a lot of really different people. 
people uh, from uh, really different backgrounds, and everyone's everyone starts equal on the internet, whether you're rich, poor, uh, black, white, uh, Japanese, or uh, you know uh, from uh, Brazil, but <clears throat> but uh, maybe that uh, the the technology uh, makes things go faster. But I don't think that society basically is changing that much, uh, or, you know, more than um, it used to. Yeah, no, I don't, don't, you, I don't, don't think, think so. Yeah, no, no, I think society has always been changing. What I meant was that it's, it's, it's alarming right now in what direction we're, we're headed. But maybe that's just like my view. Maybe it's not that bad at all. I think, I think there's, uh, there's a phenomenon psychologically where we as humans tend to focus on the negative stuff that's happening and we kind of like overlook the positive stuff i mean we, we're talking about oh god like nazis are on the rise and climate change is bad and i mean it's all true but on the same hand we, we we're living in the most peaceful time ever on earth and, yeah. and and i mean there's there's more people than ever and we're kind of like we're still here alive and kicking you know not all of us but most of us are fine and and mm. of course there's like issues in society but we're also like still evolving and we're like we're like kids basically like our species is still a yeah. child like we we we're, 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 we're so young if you look at Absolutely. the, the yes. earth and then the universe like we are so incredibly young as a species mm -hmm. and we are expecting so much of ourselves and i think that it's like a big burden that we put on like our own shoulders and i think there's a lot of time for us to kind of like learn and, and, and get better and I think we're already doing that. We're better than 50 years ago, we're a lot better than 100 years ago and of course there's always going to be like bad stuff that happens but I think it's, you know, it's like uh, two steps forward, one step back and, and there's, there's always going to be bad stuff that happens but we're also collectively moving towards a better age and a better time and, and we're trying yes. to help everybody but it's just not it's not going to work in 10 years guys be, be a bit more patient come on give us some time well I think that perfection does not exist and it's unattainable and we'll always have things to complain about and uh, on the other hand, w yes, it keeps getting better, I think, especially about health, medicine, uh, what we know now uh, to fight against diseases and, you know, um, malnutrition and, and all that. And uh, we almost found a cure for cancer. And uh, I mean, yeah, I think it's good with uh, we... all that we know. Wait a minute. Have, have we no, 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 almost no, no. found a cure for I, cancer? I, I, no, no, I said, uh, so, um, I, I I'm saying almost because there's a lot of research being done right, uh, right now, and I thought I, I, I had missed I, something big there for a no, second. No, 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 sorry, no, no, no. I, I, but I, I believe it's gonna happen soon because if you look at how the research is advancing, uh, you can extrapolate and and uh, okay, I know that I may be wrong, but I believe that we will soon find a cure for a cancer, at least some of them. I may be wrong, but uh, we 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 find better medicines uh, every day. Uh, I I know that recently there's been a lot uh, done on the subject of mental health. Uh, there's a lot of uh, amazing antidepressants that oh, have yeah. been uh, discovered really recently. Uh, like I'm talking 2016, 2017. Uh, there's new molecules that are discovered all the time. Yeah, yeah. And, and there's a lot uh, of research with drugs as well. Like uh, they're trying to use ketamine to uh, cure depression, which is really interesting if you look into it. There's a lot of kind of like. Yeah. Yeah. Science is advancing. It's exciting. It's stuff's happening. You know, where the Japanese yes. are trying to build a space elevator. Stuff. Oh yeah. Stuff, yeah stuff's yeah, going yeah. on. We're 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 doing stuff, people. Um, I think that it was a, a, a couple um, weeks ago that um, some scientists discovered a new way uh, to make vaccines that um, and because uh, thanks to that new technique, vaccines won't uh, need to be refrigerated all the time. All right. And so for, for transport and, uh, and stocking, uh, stockage, I don't, I, I don't know the, the correct English word, um, stocks. Uh, putting it in a story you know, storage store oh yeah thanks storage uh, for uh, uh, transport and for storage it will be much easier 
so uh, it's it's a huge thing, and uh, a lot of people in the medicine uh, world are, are are talking about it. And it happened really recently, like I think it was like two weeks ago, something like that. Man, yeah, that's and gonna so, be great uh, for like distribution around the world. Yes, because that's exactly. been a huge problem up until now. But, yes. but then there's anti-vexers, and you know those are going to be a problem. I, stuff uh, I don't we, understand. We, we talk about them a lot, but they're not actually that many. No, no, there's of just course, a, yeah. There's just a small handful of assholes. But yeah, because of them, uh, well, they're especially uh, um, in the United States, uh, and uh, fortunately here in Europe we don't have a lot of them. But uh, yeah, there uh, a lot of diseases are. Uh, are coming back that are uh, have had uh, almost disappeared. Oh, and, yeah. and now uh, things like measles, for example, or uh, tuberculosis is, is coming back, and um, stuff like that. Yeah, we're, I mean, you we're, don't really... we're creating superbugs too. That's like the, that's the whole thing where yeah, all the all the uh, antibiotics that we use so so long have kind of like uh, made it really hard to treat certain diseases because they they have just adapted so well to everything we used to treat them with, and now yep. we are like trying to to use I think like viruses that can then yes. yeah, which is like I think they call them uh, bacteriophages, which uh, is yes, exactly. really really interesting because the virus is like the the most uh, deadly species on earth and we are teaming yes. up with them to kind of like stop our diseases after we have made them stronger. The, if you think about all this stuff, uh, for me at least it's extremely uh, cool and interesting because it's it's, yes. it's like stuff from science fiction, you know, the stuff that's happening every day on earth like, if you like, like just like let that melt on your tongue, like humans the, the number one apex predator of this planet have teamed up with the most deadly uh, species on this world which is yeah. which is microscopically small and looks like a little robot, and we have made yes. them kill the, the the diseases that are killing our our bodies, which we have yeah. made stronger. It's it's incredible, like all of this stuff. Yes. And we yeah, put it's, little it's, it's, cameras it, into people's butts, and we send robots in, to Mars. I mean, Jesus, so much yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah, uh, uh, science is advancing really, really fast, uh, 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 and uh, more and and the, as time goes on, um, it 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 advances faster because of uh, what we have, uh, because of the, the the education is getting better, the technology is getting better, and so uh, of course uh, um, there are, there are more scientists and, and uh, they're better equipped with new knowledge and all that is kind of like. Um, uh, how do you say in English? Um, uh, the s snowball. The sn it's it's uh, the snowball effect. You know. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, more and more creates more and more, and it's uh, it's accelerating. Yeah, and, it's um, it's 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 growing exponentially. This this it's going quicker yeah. and quicker. Yeah, 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 and and and, and that's great. And uh, it's not just science. Uh, literacy uh, is getting better uh, in the whole world. People are getting more literate. Yeah, uh, illiteracy is slowly disappearing. Uh, there's there's a lot of things that are that are being done, um, and uh, globally, um, I I I don't understand why some people can believe that things are getting worse. It seems crazy to me. Because it's hard to focus on the big picture, you know? You, you look at the news and you see the stuff that's happening and it looks scary. And it, it is scary in, in, in some ways. Uh, elections aren't good, looking good in Germany either. Like, I'm, I'm scared. We, I just went to a demonstration. It was like a huge demonstration here in Berlin. They were like, uh, they expected like 40,000 people. And at, in the end, like, I think uh, over 240,000 people actually showed up. It was a huge thing. It was really peaceful and nice. And it, it was against like uh, fascism and racism and, and, and right wing politics. And stuff like that, you know, it's 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 real and it's happening. So you you get distracted. You look at all that stuff, and you you kind of forget all the wonderful things that are happening. Uh, let, let's celebrate that panda bears are no longer extinct, uh, or like uh, not extinct, no longer endangered of being extinct. Yeah, wow. That's that's the thing we did. That's something we we managed to do. And there's all all sorts of other amazing stuff happening all around the world. But people yeah, tend to focus on the negative. Real quick, if you could um, make a future like sci-fi technology a yeah. reality, which one? Pick one. What, what teleportation. Do you want? 
teleportation. teleportation. Instant uh, teleportation. It's, yes, it's it, there's no that there's not even a contest, no hesitation, <laughs> teleportation. I hate traveling. But uh, not not traveling as in going uh, other places, just the, the act of traveling. Yeah. And I hate com- I hate commuting also, uh, whether it is when I go to work or when I when I go see people. I, I don't like being in a car. I don't like being in a bus. I don't oh, like dude, being be careful, in a metro. Though, because if people I don't can like teleport, being in a plane. they can't listen to this podcast anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe they can uh, listen at home when they're trying to sleep. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure people will still do things for fun, not uh, only when they're commuting yeah. or, or traveling. But yeah, uh, uh, teleportation for me uh, would be the, the thing to achieve. Or maybe not teleportation, but uh, travel that is better or faster or more comfortable. Instantaneous anyways. travel, basically. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I hate tr- traveling. The only thing that I like <laughs> is boats. Boats? The only thing that I like... Yeah, I, I love... But I love the sea. Yeah. And uh, I think that being on a boat is awesome. Uh, that's the exception for me, but I don't yeah, like boats trains. Boats are like a novelty thing. Yeah, I, I, I don't like... I don't like trains, I don't like planes, I don't like cars uh, or buses or, uh, you know, teleportation for me would be the thing. Would it be like really? a personal thing or would it be like public access? Like everybody, there's like a, instead oh, no. of train what? stations, there's like a teleportation station or yeah. would it be like a personal device that only you can use? Well, no, I think it would be uh, probably, uh, hmm. I think it would probably be public. I think it makes more sense. You, um, you like walk into a big teleportation gate, you come out the other side and you're like merged with some other guy who's like on the, on the subway <laughs> and it's like the fly. Well, yes, it can happen, but today we have car accidents and <laughs> it will, we, it, yeah, it's all so bad. It, it, accidents will always happen, I'm sure. And, um, oh, let me, let me a, just a, go a, into this uh, in, into this tele, tele, teleporter. I want to go visit my auntie. Oh shit! I'm two people now. It's happened. <laughs> I, I now have two well, heads. This is this shit happens. Like, There's accidents. You know, before we had car crashes, and now now we have the fly mergings happening <laughs> every day. I'm I'm sure that when teleportation happens, there are people who will. Um, use horses again and and do uh walks around the earth and a lot of uh, biking like bicycle. recreational transport yeah yes i it will become it will become more of a thing uh, kind of like people who do uh like yachting uh at, yeah. at the moment or, or just or like trekking. going for a walk i guess yeah i think it will become huge i think it will become a a, a, a huge trend well, you heard uh, it and here what's first. <laughs> exactly. What's uh, your take? What's the technology of the sci-fi thing that you would make uh, real? Oh man, I think probably. Um, I I don't know. Maybe like uh, being able to to yeah. I guess it's kind of like teleportation. Having like a portal, you know, like a portal gun. Uh-huh. Or I, I would just love to be able to kind of like uh, have a portal in my living room where I can just like go visit like my grandparents or something or like go into the Caribbean. Oh, okay. You know, where you, just like I... you walk through a door and you're like in another continent or on another okay. planet. I would love that. But I guess that's teleportation as well. So I'll pick something that's a bit different. Um, okay. I will pick... Um, like uh 3d printing gone crazy like you can print absolutely anything like you you can print your food you can print like you, you, your pencil broke just print a new one doesn't matter but there's like you know there would have to be limitations we don't want people printing like guns or anything but i think i guess that would work in a society where <sighs> there's like no more uh capitalism you know because if you can print anything you, there's no reason to sell it uh, I don't know, uh, but um, I, what I know is that uh, th- uh, 3D printing food has started already. There's a guy who's 3D printed a pizza. Yeah, oh, and, shit. Uh, yeah I heard about it. Yeah, that's, uh, that's great. Uh, when you can like download recipes from the internet. Yeah, and, and just and shit print like them. That. Uh, that's, that's probably a good thing. But I guess it's like ordering food as well, so it's not really that exciting. It doesn't have to be exciting. I mean, 
or we think that ordering food is not exciting but it is it is about, exciting not yeah talk talk about it uh from uh you like invent a time machine and talk about this <laughs> yes. from uh, someone from a uh, hundred years ago invent a time blow. machine just go it ahead will... and invent a time machine <laughs> Well, we're talking about we're talking about making sci-fi concepts becoming real. So yes. let's invent a time machine. Let's do it. While we're at it, yeah, uh, it's uh, it's the subject. Let's invent a time machine. Go hundred years ago and and tell people that we have little things in our pockets when we can watch videos and uh, uh, watch the news and and talk to our friends and listen to music and make make photos and videos and 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 a million other marvelous things and also uh these things can make food uh, appear in our house uh in uh, in minutes and yeah <laughs> let's invent a I time mean... machine to go back to a medieval <laughs> peasant and show them our cell phones and talk to them about food delivery let's show them delivery let's yeah <laughs> let's show them Uber. maybe Maybe not uh, the, the the Middle Ages because we could uh, be burned at the stake for being witches. Uh, Maybe but, they'll uh, see us as uh, gods, though. A chariot mm. from the heavens. Uh, yeah. So let's let's go in a in a time where people were more chill, like the Roman Empire. Yeah, and, those um, guys were chill, right? Yeah, yeah, that was chill <laughs> f. And um, uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, let's go into in, into the Roman Empire and and flex. Okay. On, on 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 those guys. Let's let's flex on Socrates. Okay, I'll be I'll be a Roman guy, and you be you coming into the past and showing me your cell phone. <laughs> All right, here here you go. Okay. <laughs> like the time machine has now arrived. Here you are. Okay. Uh, hey, hello, Roman guy. Uh, do you have a a world outlet somewhere? My my phone is out of battery. What's up, man? We're we're really chill here in the Roman in, in the Roman uh, Empire. Yeah. What's that you wanted? A what? Uh, electricity, please, because my phone doesn't doesn't have any more battery. Ah, and I wanted to, I wanted to show you things on my phone, but also there's no network. Whoa, 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 uh, dude, dude, calm down, chill. Like, what are you talking about? Electricity, phone? What, what is this? What are you? What's your uh, deal? You know here? when, you know when there's a storm and that yellow thing comes out of the sky and it's it's really cool. Oh, you know, the big Zeus? thunder P, you mean? Yeah, Zeus's yeah, P. yeah, 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 man. Uh, yeah, why uh, didn't you just uh, say Jup so? J Jupiter, uh, and so. Uh, All right, it's well, not Zeus anymore. We, we, do, do, we quit that. Yeah. Uh, do you have some of that in a, in a box? Uh, uh, <laughs> or may, may, maybe we can just uh, take a bunch of slaves and make him run into a wheel. Yeah, that's what it, we. It, it that's like kind of more our thing, you know. If you if you just come with me, there's like our slave wheel. I can. It's the wheel of pain. I can just like show you this, and you can maybe okay. like use that. You know? So. Do you like torque power? Is that good? Is that okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Let me just invent a charger. I have no scientific knowledge, so it will take me fifty years. But yeah, perfect. In the mean, perfect. in the meantime, if you can just serve me some chicken and and wine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you and, want and some uh, some some grapes too? You want some grapes? Yeah, grapes. We love grapes. Grapes here. are amazing. Really I chill. love grapes. Yeah, I I do love grapes. All right, well, let me just like uh, call over my slave boys. I'll I'll just call them over. Nice slave boys. We need we we need some talk power here, please. Yeah, they're coming. They're coming. They're they're on the on the wheel. They're doing it. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. Well, now now show me this uh, technology that you have. What is it? What is this? Okay, so I can show I cannot show you a lot because we have no network here and it, it would need like 3G and shit and it hasn't been invented yet but I can show you uh, some of the pictures I have uh, here are uh, pictures, pictures of my say. are these uh, like yeah, paintings like, or it's like a painting but it's uh, in the thing and I can change uh, the, the painting with a flick of my finger it's really wow. nice you're like uh, the fastest painter of, uh, in the world exactly uh, there it's it's like there are some really little Holy banking fuck. spirits in the thing so here's a picture of uh, the breakfast they are here today it's uh, eggs and uh, and bacon whoa damn what is that in the sky in the background of that picture what is that it's a, it's a oh. giant metal bird uh, no it, it's not a bird it's like a, you know it's like a chariot uh, but uh, it goes it goes really fast and it's uh, advanced uh, technology Holy and so shit. it uh, 
It's a uh, yeah, yeah. A, a, it we, looks we, like we it would suck. Th- it looks like it would be horrible. It looks like it, I would it, wish for that not to exist, and instead for teleportation to exist. Yeah, I, I totally, I totally feel ya, man. I <laughs> understand a hundred percent. I totally agree with you. It, yeah. it's, it sucks a lot. Also, uh, you gotta check. Oh my God, you gotta check your luggage. You don't know what that means, but let me tell you, know. that's bad. What, what is luggage? You don't know what luggage is? No. I'm pretty sure that luggage already exists in in the Roman times, but uh, you know, it's like a bag when you put your uh, your clothes and your stuff when you travel. Oh man, we don't wear clothes. We just wear tunics. You know, we have one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're. Uh, Everybody you only your, has one. You put your toga and uh, an amphora of your favorite wine and yeah, some some, yeah, yeah. some uh, trinkets that you use uh, for uh, you know luck. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and a, a little a little thing to uh, to make prayers to Mars. All right. Well, all right, dude. It's it's been cool getting to know you, uh, you know, yeah. future guy. But I gotta get back to uh, whipping the slaves. Have some, I understand. Have some uh, grapes to uh, to get mushed. So uh, yeah. see you later. See you later. Goodbye. Thanks for thanks for the grapes. Bye 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 now. Well. Uh, you will not believe what just happened to me. I was teleported yeah, to the man, Roman time. I was just sitting here. Like, where were you? Well, I, I was teleported into a into a weird portal, and I went into uh, the Roman Empire. And Holy some guy, uh, some guy gave me grapes. They, they were good <laughs> grapes. Can I have some? Can you give me some? Yeah, sure. Oh, here, have some some, some thanks, grapes. Thanks, dude. Ro- Roman grapes. Roman they were grapes. The best. Yep. Oh, actually, these these taste kind of weird. I, I think Zeus might have peed on them. <laughs> uh, it's uh, Zeus is uh, Jupiter it, it Greek yeah, times. Yeah, yeah, yeah of exactly. Course, of course. Uh, I don't know why, but it, all this reminds me of a weird dream that I had yesterday. Uh, that uh, I bought a shirt. That uh, yeah, I, I I dreamt that I bought a T-shirt that said on it, uh, "This is what a gay." clarinet player looks like <laughs> for some reason i bought this shirt and then i went to see uh i went outside and and people uh asked me oh so you are a gay clarinet player and i i i, I insert to everyone no no but i really look like one <laughs> <laughs> shit that's oh man you need to make that into a meme that's really funny <laughs> you dropped yeah, that yesterday yeah. Yeah, I have weird dreams recently because um, <laughs> this is what uh, a gay clarinet player looks like. Are you yes. <laughs> are you a gay clarinet player? No, I just look like one. It's really good. I have I have such weird dreams recently. Do you play and, uh, clarinet? No. <laughs> so you're not gay and you also don't play clarinet, but you had that yep. dream. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> really good. I, I'm not, I'm not sure where it came. Uh, I'm not sure where it came from. Maybe uh, because I I, I watched uh, a lot of videos on really specific T-shirts and it went into my brain. Oh, I guess. Oh yeah, probably. It's funny. But uh, <sighs> um, uh, what? Uh, hmm. Oh, I wanted to talk about something, but I I forgot. Um. Do you want to do you want uh, to tell um, about the video game that you're working on uh, at the moment? Oh yeah, absolutely. Thanks. Um, yeah. So well, uh, please. Right now, I'm working on two games. Uh, one mm-hmm. of which is almost uh, well, basically complete. You can play it. It's it's done, but it's uh, it's it's not released yet, and we're 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 gonna polish it some more. It's it's y- you can call it like a beta or like an early access. It's called Feral. It's a, a turn-based strategy game. It's a small scale. It's you know, it's not like a, it, it's no civilization, but it's 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 fun. It's like uh, I guess like a, a bit like Chaos Reborn, you know, or like I mm-hmm. guess chess with fantasy people and mm-hmm. some base building and stuff. Where you basically you you play against a friend. You can play online too, and um, there's a hot seat. There's online, and you uh, pick a race. There's uh, badgers or like mammalians, and there's uh, reptiles, mm-hmm. lizard people. And uh, you each have a base, and you are trying to either uh, gain control of like crystals in the environment for for uh, a while, or you mm-hmm. uh, want to destroy the base of the uh, opponent. 
So you can do this by using your units that you can uh, cr uh, like kind of like uh, spawn uh, using resources that are on the map, and you walk around and you kill the other dudes, and it's a lot of fun. It's really it's really interesting. Okay, and what's the other one? Uh, the other one, I'm, I'm, I, we've just started working. Like it's it's been a week of production, so we're like still deep into pre-production, only making concepts and stuff. It's gonna be like a couch uh, co-op, like party game. You know, it's gonna be. Uh, uh, I don't want to say too much because nothing is set in stone yet, but I think it's safe to say that you will be driving a vehicle and you'll mm -hmm. be fighting some friends with uh, lasers. Mm. And it's going to be fun. Lasers are nice. Yeah. Uh, so do you do these for just for school or do you intend to sell them like on Steam or GOG? Well, Feral, we're thinking about releasing it. Uh, first for free, maybe like on a donation basis, but uh, uh -huh. if we get it polished enough, we'll, we'll release it on Steam, I think. Um, uh, generally, as a rule of thumb, these games don't get released. They're student projects. They're meant to yeah. kind of like simulate workspace and uh, work environments and, and a real studio, kind of like everybody has their mm -hmm. role and y y they're really small teams as well and the games don't usually mm -hmm. get that big. Uh, we just were really lucky that Feral turned out so great that we we're actually considering uh, releasing it. But you know, there have been games made on uh, in our school that have been uh, released to Steam and have also won awards. Oh. So you know, never say never. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I think uh, you probably won't have heard of them. Uh, one of them is called uh, I think. Uh, I forgot. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but well, maybe, maybe I've heard it's, it's about a, I'm a, a, you're like a wolf and you try to get your cub back and there's or like your wolf kid back and there's like hunters in the forest and there's another one with like where there's a oh. bugs and you kind of like fight some bugs I guess. Maybe uh, it kind of rings a bell because uh, I'm a, a subscriber to the humble bundle. And so, uh, uh, because of that, I get a lot of uh, really small, obscure indie games on a regular basis. So, uh, m maybe, I, I, I'm sure that these kind of projects are, re they're really in the spirit of Humble Bundle. Yeah, I so, guess. Um, they're and, like uh, every month, truly every indie. month uh, they, they release a new game made by independent little creators. So, maybe yeah. school projects would fit in that. Uh, in that. Maybe. Do you play a lot of video games? I used to. I don't have a lot of time uh, anymore, sadly. But I still play. I, I um, Some games I play a lot um, are, like right now, I'm playing a lot of uh, Vermintide 2. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of fun. Uh, I play with some friends. Uh, but, but that game I've basically kept. There's not a lot else to do for me anymore, so it kind of got a li little bit boring. I love uh, playing Minecraft still. I know some people mm -hmm. think it's a kid's game, but I, I think it's amazing. And, and if you like install some mods or like get a mod pack and have some friends, I think it's really fun. Sadly, none of my friends play it anymore, so I'm doomed to play alone. But it's, it's really chill and casual. Usually what I do is I uh, put on some, like uh, on YouTube, I'll, I'll find some like uh, horror stories that somebody reads out, you know, like from Reddit or something. Mm -hmm. And I'll put that on and just like kind of like build some shit and relax and smoke that sounds like a chill time yeah man, it's, it's the best i mean i i don't really see minecraft as a kid's game it's kind of like lego yeah it's not really a it's not really a kid game i mean kids can play it but adults can too it's kind of like those construction games like yeah like lego and and Meccano and Kenex and all these, uh, I don't see why an adult couldn't, I mean, I, I know a lot of adults who uh, do um, uh, House of Cards. Yeah. So, why not? Uh, yeah, could be, like, I mean, we're playing games for a reason, right? We're, we're still playing, we're still kind of doing the same stuff we did as uh, kids. And I, I yeah. think Minecraft is, it's, you know, it's a, it's a true sandbox. There's, it's just a, a tool you can use for your creativity. And the stuff kids do with Minecraft is radically different from the stuff uh, uh, adults do with it. Because if you look at like some of the stuff people do on the internet in Minecraft, 
some people like who are adults and and who use it in a completely different way they don't play with friends on a server uh uh, maybe they like make incredible redstone builds and they like program a whole computer in there or they make mods or yes. like, they make texture packs they just like, people do creative stuff they built the whole map of game of thrones you know yeah i just love that yeah, yeah. i love being able to do like whatever and just kind of like lay back and and, and create something and, and that's my whole thing i love to create stuff so that's like it's like the perfect game for me yeah i i think that's it's a thing that happens a lot recently. It's um, uh, when you think about Minecraft, a lot of people have a negative uh, view of it because um, let's be honest, a lot of the community is pretty garbage. And <laughs> any but, any uh, big community is mostly garbage. I mean, people are yes, mostly garbage. Yes, but there there are some communities that have been more on the limelight of being garbage. I'm thinking about. Uh, Rick and Morty, for example. Fortnite. Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, you, you, you. There's a lot of uh, uh, people who are criticizing uh, things because of their community lately. Hmm. Uh, a few, a, f a couple of years ago, it was like Undertale or oh, yeah. Steven Universe or Sonic. You know. <laughs> Yeah, that it has always been the case. Yeah, people um, ruin good stuff with their fandoms. Do they? They don't do ruin they, it, though? but they they ruin it for people who want to get into it and who are then scared off by the negative stuff they see about it because people will see all the the weird OC kind of like fan fiction stuff and they'll think like holy shit what is this weird thing? I don't want to get into this, you know. I was put off by Undertale uh uh, uh, for a long time because I thought it was like this weird kind of like I don't know weird thing also it's the same for me with anime I th there's a lot of like good anime out there but I just I hate the whole weeaboo culture mm -hmm. thing so it can, it's kind mm -hmm. it's difficult for me and I think for a lot of people but I think if you like something or you're interested in something just go ahead and, and enjoy it and don't let kind of like weird fans stop you because they're always going to be there and, and Rick and Morty is still a good show even if the people are uh, some people who wa that watch it are like absolute cringe yes exactly uh, that's um, and I think it's the same um, with memes uh, a, a lot of people are saying like uh, if a celebrity or a BuzzFeed or whatever uses a meme, then the meme is dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think that's such a weird mindset, and it's kind of the same thing of... Uh, um, I don't exactly know how to say it, but it's like... Memes are good if you share them, but also you don't. You should not share them with too many people. Yeah, or yeah I'm they, glad you circled back to that. Uh, it's... Uh, well, uh, it was my thought it's from It's really the, hypocritical. I, I'm not sure it's really hypocritical. I'm not sure that's the word, but I, it's, I, I don't understand. Yeah, it, I it, don't it doesn't make any sense because memes, by definition, are things that get shared and, and consumed by a lot of people, which is to say the mainstream of society. And then you, you try to kind of like keep your, your memes from mainstream or normies or whatever but that's the whole point of creating memes is to, for people to enjoy them and okay people want their niche stuff and 4chan doesn't want to be overrun by people who don't understand 4chan and that's it's all fine and i get it but at the same time you know saying that as soon as a meme reaches uh, platform x you know like uh, whatever like facebook or twitter or instagram or tumblr or whatever as soon as this Pewdiepie. meme reaches uh, yeah meme review it's dead i i think that statement in and of itself is has become a bit of a meme <laughs> yes <laughs> you're right actually um, yeah, we're trying yeah, to get yeah, snake with uh... leg like, uh, on meme review as a meme Okay, <laughs> let's tr let's try. Yeah, help me push it. Uh, I, I, I have to actually give credit here because uh, I didn't come up with that alone. I came up with my uh -huh. roommates. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, and Niklas and Justus. Uh, the, we, we were sitting like uh, just at home and having some beers and we came up with the idea for that and then we just like spend an evening making like a shit ton of those. I still have a lot of them that I haven't posted yet because I didn't want to like completely flood people with it every day. 
but yeah let's push it people I mean if people like it um, I, I, I I always feel uh, the liberty to push something when uh, there are a lot of my audience that send me messages uh, with uh, say, saying that it's good or yeah. was sending me their original content. That's yeah. what happened. That's what happened uh, with the very expensive milkshake. <laughs> yes. I don't know if you remember. I do. Yeah. But it's uh, it's it's a meme that I made about a year ago um, and. Um, at first, I, I posted just one picture and I said, new meme, uh, very expensive milkshake. But it was just a shit post. It was not meant to I be mean, serious. It wasn't even a meme. But it was just a picture of a milkshake with the words very expensive milkshake. Uh, no, it was a picture of a guy on a bike and then he fell off his bike and then he, he said, oh, uh, I know I feel the need for a very oh, expensive shit, yeah, milkshake. It's, oh, it's, uh, yeah, it, it was kind of like bone herding juice in a way, right? Yes. It, where it's like yeah, a yeah. meme format and you just put like some other text in there. Yeah. But what happened uh, then? Uh, so I, I just posted this picture and then I, I forgot about it. And then a few hours later, I opened my page and I looked at my inbox and there were like a dozen uh, of, of people have sent me uh, very expensive milkshake memes that they, have ma they had made themselves and they thought it was really funny and I, they, wanted, they wanted it to, uh, to be a thing. And so um, I, I, after that, people have, uh, have said that you, it was forced, but uh, it really was not. Yeah. It really was a, a lot of organic uh, uh, community content and I, I made almost none of it. Yeah. Well, that's really cool. That that stuff, you know, it doesn't really happen on that scale with me because y you have a way bigger audience than I have. I mean, I'm still, I I still oh, really? don't understand how like uh, seventeen and a half thousand people like the shit that I post. Mm. But still, I mean, you you what? How many how many uh, likes does your page have on Facebook? That's like the fucking most millennial thing oh. I've ever said in my life. <laughs> um, I'm uh, I'm almost at four hundred uh, thousand. Yeah, your new page is on like uh, about two hundred thousand. Yeah, two hundred and seventy thousand, which is it's, it's crazy. The other one is almost four hundred thousand. So you have a mm. lot more people uh, watching your stuff. So when oh, I thought they were bigger than that. No, no, I'm I'm a small boy still. <laughs> I'm also spread out on. Uh, uh, between uh, Instagram and YouTube and Facebook, but Facebook is still by far that's my good. biggest audience. That's good. That's good to be spread out. Uh, that's the thing I didn't do at first, and now I I, I don't really regret it. But I um I'm realizing uh, it was a mistake to concentrate only on Facebook. Yeah. Uh, b because well, I haven't now done it uh, I'm very well either. Now I kind of feel trapped uh, by Facebook, and mm. um, I'm I have a hard time. Uh, doing things on other platforms, it's kind of starting to get traction on Instagram. Yeah, I, I've gained a, I've I've gained a few thousand likes on Instagram recently, which is nice. Nice. Yeah. Uh, but it's still it's still down slow, and uh, on on YouTube uh, it's slow as shit. Uh, algorithms are weird, man. And for me, yes. I, I I think I have like uh, three thousand followers on Instagram compared mm -hmm. to 18,000 on Facebook. But when I post a picture on uh, a meme on Instagram, it gets like almost double the likes it gets on Facebook, just because Facebook decides to cuck me with their algorithm. So it, it makes well, me yeah. so angry. Like uh, almost like, yeah. I think only like a really small fraction of the people who liked my page actually get to see the stuff that I post. Which I, seems it's unfair. funny because it's, uh, it's the same company. But uh, yeah, but I think on Instagram they they have a, a, another yeah, yeah. sorting method. Yeah, it's it's obviously really different because well, I I, I really I really can attest of that because I have uh, four hundred thousand on Facebook and four thousand on Instagram, yeah. and I get I get almost the same number of likes. Exactly, it's crazy. It shouldn't be like that. It doesn't make any it's, sense. Uh, hmm. Facebook just decided it hates memes now, and we have to deal with it. No, it's not recent. It always was like that. And actually, it's kind of getting better recently. Yeah, uh, do you think so? Uh, for, for me, oh, it's yeah. Been I, I mean, at, at least for me, it's getting much better f since um, uh, this summer. Right. Okay. Like, like yeah, it, yeah, it, has, think been it, it has been going uphill a little bit. I think that's true. But it's still not nowhere near where it was when I started making uh -huh. stuff. 
Uh, no, I, I said this summer, but I'm mistaking. I, I'm in summer 2017. Uh, that's when he started uh, accelerating. Huh. Yeah, because when I, I remember when I started, I would get like... Uh, I don't know. Well, no, no, no. I, I'm saying dumb. I'm saying wrong. No, it's this summer. I'm, I don't have a good memory of dates. Uh, uh, but uh, sorry for interrupting you. Please continue. Uh, well, when I started, I, I, I got like a lot more likes on posts. and Which is weird because obviously I had less followers. So, uh, I, mean, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe my, my content has gone, gotten worse over time. But I think it's, mm. it's algorithm stuff. Um, yeah, it's the algorithm. It's very yeah. uh, non-transparent. You know, it's very opaque. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a big problem, uh, and uh, it's a problem whether it is on Facebook or Instagram or, or YouTube or uh, uh, whatever site that uses algorithms. Uh, it's uh, it's non-transparent, and we don't know how it works, and we don't know how, what happens, and uh, that's that how has always been a big problem, yeah. and that that is getting worse. The obscurity of mm. the algorithms and how they work and what we should do. Uh, to uh, to avoid uh, getting uh, you know uh, sucked. throttled, but maybe not maybe not sucked because that's kind of obvious now. Uh, mm. It used it used to be obscure. It's clearer now. Uh, the the community guidelines used to be really vague and obscure, and and you could get sucked for nothing. But now it's it's more. I think it's more. Um, it's more clear now. It's it's more uh, you know open. Uh, what will get you zucked and what won't. Uh, but, but uh, yeah, uh, on the other hand, a lot of things seem to get throttled or, you know, push down uh, the algorithm. And, yeah. and, and so it's, it's obvious that uh, some things get a hugely different reach than some, that some others, and it's not always clear why. And uh, that's that's really annoying. Yeah, because when you have some 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 piece of content that suddenly like goes through the roof and and mm -hmm. and gets like I, I can post something like I, I'll post uh, comparable uh, contents, you know, like uh, memes mm -hmm. of the same kind of general quality, and I'll post them on like six p.m. one day and then six p.m. the other day. And one of them will get like a reach of like uh, six, uh, like sixty thousand, and the other one will have a reach of like uh, zero fucking people, uh -huh. and 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 yeah. on the same time, and it's so weird. I have literally, I'm looking at my page right now, right, and the 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 post I made last has reached uh, about ten and a half thousand people, and when I scroll down to the post uh, below that. It actually says on all of my other posts zero people reached, which doesn't make sense because people saw it. So like the whole, uh, all of the the information you get from Facebook is like it's bugged, it's weird, yes. it doesn't make sense. Oh yeah, you never and know what's going yeah. on. That's also getting worse. Yeah, uh, reach is uh, the numbers that you get. They reach don't is make so sense. Bad. It, it doesn't make Sometimes. any sense. Yeah, sometimes I have like a hundred likes on a thing and say it's rich zero and yeah. it's so weird. Yeah, yeah. Like it, where it's, where uh, do, does, do these likes come from if nobody's seen it? it? Yeah, it's yeah. getting worse and worse. Yeah. Yes. And also just my reach in general, I used to reach like 200,000 people sometimes with a, with a picture and now I'm, I'm glad if I reach like 10,000. Uh, for me, it's always, for me, it's, uh, it's really in, in spikes. Yeah. And uh, it's it's I don't I rarely really understand uh, why some there's a, such a huge discrepancy yeah. in, in reach between posts. It's strange. There's such a, there's such a difference. I, I I never really understand. And, yeah, I guess it's uh, just yeah, stuff we have to live with, you know, and kind of like adapt. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not. Um, it's frustrating. And it's annoying, but it's not. Uh, it's not that bad on Facebook. It's much worse on YouTube. Yeah. On, on YouTube, it's so much worse. I feel uh, bad with YouTube, man. Yeah. Because I've, I've like, I had a good start on YouTube. I had a really good start, and you know, the first one thousand subscribers, that's it's huge. It's hard on YouTube. It's really hard because mm -hmm. there's so mm -hmm. much content, and it's really hard to break through. But I managed to get those fairly quickly. And yeah. I, I, I'm like I'm I'm still on two thousand now, 
And I, I had like, I, I, I did my first couple of videos and they got like a, a shit ton of views and people loved them and I got amazing support and feedback. And when I looked at like Social Blade and at like my, uh, like the diagnostic, you know, they can kind of like uh, give you uh, a, a calculation of how many subscribers you'll have in like a year. It was saying mm -hmm. like 100,000 subscribers in like, uh, that's going to take you like six months or something and you'll yeah. be there yeah yeah and now i'm still on 2000 because I, I i just like i stopped posting uh about like 10 months ago and then i uploaded three more videos which all weren't really like in the same uh kind of category or mm. or um i guess the same kind of content that I used to do. And I had so many ideas and plans for videos, but it takes so much time and I have such shitty software and, and I'm, I've run out of ideas and kind of, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll continue doing stuff, I think, but I, I'm yes, waiting on it's something. Always better to I don't, do things. I don't know what I'm waiting for. You, you, you get that feeling sometimes? You're waiting on something? Uh, uh, not anymore, uh, but I, when I was younger, it happened to me a lot, and now I, it doesn't happen to me anymore. I, I don't wait. and I, I, I learned uh, with uh, the years and with uh, the age and experience that you, you're never really ready for anything, and that, yeah. waiting, and that waiting is useless, and it's always a, a bad idea. And so uh, now uh, this doesn't happen to me anymore, but when I was younger, it happened to me a lot. Yeah, I mean, because look at the stuff I made. It's really not good, but people still liked it and loved it, and people are still happy if I post something. But I don't say it's not good. Uh, it's it's good if people like it. I mean, that's that's what good means. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I guess. I mean, I enjoyed it, and I think it's it's fun entertainment. But it's that's, it's not that is what matters. That that is that is the only thing that matters. I guess. What 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 else? What what else metric uh, would you measure good on? I mean, good is when you're satisfied and yeah, you're proud yeah, no, of you're your right. work and people I, enjoy it. I meant like uh, I think I meant to say the production quality was low, and I, oh, I yeah. had I had big plans for bigger production quality, longer videos, mm. overarching stories, stuff like that. I think I had too many big plans and and not enough time to do them, and that kind of got me frustrated when I couldn't do what I wanted to do. And so I kind of like, it, it, it all stagnated a bit. And then I got really invested in the new game and, and all the other stuff mm. going on in my life. And, and, and now it's kind of just a thing where I don't pick it up anymore. And mm -hmm. but I think it's part, part of it because I, I don't post on Facebook as much uh, too. And I think part of it is just that I'm, I don't, I'm, I'm trying to find like a voice or like a, a humor that works for me and is independent of meme culture mm. because it's so hard to to do the same kind of jokes over and over again and still enjoy them because mm -hmm. I think you're the first person to get sick of your of your jokes yes probably yes uh, well the advice that I would give to you, if you want advice, maybe if you don't, just tell me and I, I shut up. I always want advice. Okay, so the advice I would give to you in the, in that situation, because uh, this happened to me also and uh, several times, and it's to make things like as much as you can. Keep making things. Yeah. Even if you think they're not good enough, they're probably... Probably in a year you will look back at them and think, "Oh, what was I thinking? This is so bad." But uh, with with uh, there's two things that are really important. It's first is practice because with practice you will have with time better production quality. It will come by itself. Uh, a practice is a huge thing, and you will learn better about what you like to do, what you don't like to do, what you really want to make. And you don't find your own voice just by thinking about it. Yeah. You find it by you find it by making things and making things and making yeah, things. Yeah, that's so true. And 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 after a while, you really realize what you like making and what you don't, and what you want to make and what you don't, and uh, what your skills are. Uh, you you learn about your skills uh, by by making things over and over again, and so p practice is a is a huge uh, thing. And even if the things that you make you think they're not good enough, um, 
at, as long as some people enjoy them, then it's good enough, and then yeah. it will just it will keep getting better, and it, and you will keep getting better. It's it's a proven method that has been working for as long as history has uh, has been yeah. history. And, and it's stupid um, because I, I know all this stuff because I, I as an artist as 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 me drawing. I have gone through all of this, you know, and I have I found my own art style, and I've I've had to practice so much and mm -hmm. and, and do so much stuff, and I, I'm still learning and, and and growing and stuff. But I'm I'm now at a point in my art where I feel confident enough to publish stuff and, and kind of like work on games. Um, mm, cool. so, so all all of this, these life lessons, I guess they I. I I just I don't apply them to to the meme stuff and I think it's because I don't take it as seriously because it's it doesn't feel like an actual skill or craft that I'm learning it just feels like a bit of like shit posting on the internet but then again you know if you have such a big audience you kind of like I don't know I feel like a little bit of a responsibility or kind of like mm. I'm I'm missing out if I don't do stuff for them and and for me I guess it's weird. It's weird what what modern culture has kind of like uh, started with with all of that, where you can create content that is uh, worthless or meaningless in in its essence, but it, still people enjoy it so much and 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 and, and kind of like uh, consume it, where otherwise they wouldn't have. I don't think it's really a modern thing. I think it's it has always existed. Uh, in my opinion, uh, I'm I'm sure that. Uh, the, the minstrels uh, of the uh, of the Middle Ages and uh, the the jesters and the people who made stories and went to tell them from village to village, uh, they felt the same. I, I I don't really think it's a modern thing. I don't know I because it's, they're, they're, it's they're, just a human thing. But their stories were significant. You know, they were actually telling stuff no. that happened. No, no, not always. I'm, I'm sure that a lot of time they were just making things up, and that's it's how like we a got shit lit. posting jester. He just comes into yes. town. He's like, what? "Here, here! A dragon has big balls," and he just like cackles and runs away. I mean, that's how myths and legends started. The OG that's... shit posting. Of course, but but uh, yeah, that's it. I mean. Dragons in themselves are a silly concept. It's a kind of shitpost. People found big bones in the soil and they thought, oh, uh, probably it was like a, a really big serpent that was that was flying and breathing fire. Don't you think that's shitposting? I think that's shitposting. I don't know. I think it's, 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 it's misinterpreting information because you're not educated, but I don't think they, uh, on purpose, made up the concept of dragons to kind of like be funny or be be weird, you know. Not all of them, but I'm sure some did. I guess some some of them did. Mozart was kind of a memer. He he wrote yeah. a whole song about uh, kissing someone's or licking someone's asshole, which yes, was then performed yes. by a chorus. He was uh, actually. Uh, he, he wrote he, letters he, about his yep. big tick, uh, his big dick. Yep. He was a uh, funny uh, yeah, yeah. guy. Yeah. 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 He also yeah, had yeah, chlamydia, he bless uh, his soul. <laughs> and um, but that I'm sure has always existed. And even if it was not the majority, like it's not the majority nowadays, there has al always been things like that. And. Uh, uh, I'm thinking about the, the the ancient Greeks with all their gods. They had lots of uh, of gods, Zeus and 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 all of them, and they thought that the gods uh, lived on the top of Mount Olympus, which is a not very big mountain, mm -hmm. and it's <laughs> no, it's not pretty. It's pretty easy to climb to yeah, the top. People have been up there. But yeah, recently. But at the time, they never bothered to check if there were actual you gods think so? up you there. You think maybe there was someone who was like, you know, all this talk about gods has made me curious. I'm just, I'm just gonna go up there right now, and I'm gonna look, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna meet the gods. And then he went up there, and he was like, oh, there's actually no gods here, and he just never told anyone. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe he Maybe. he invented the whole myth and he was like guarding the the Olympus and he was like uh, charging people to have a look. <laughs> Maybe he fa Maybe uh, he found that on the top of the mountain there were really good grapes and he didn't want anyone to eat his grapes, so <laughs> he he made up all the gods and shit 
and so uh, so nobody would eat his uh, his favorite grapes. We're doing a really good job at kind of circling back to topics. Yeah, <laughs> I mean that's that's how a podcast is made, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's what makes a good podcast is like some arbitrary structure that you kind of force into the whole thing by just repeating jokes. I like grapes. <laughs> Shit. I, it's, it's, I really like grapes. I don't. I don't uh, like grapes. I've never really okay. liked them. Do you like green what? grapes or red grapes? Uh, I like both. I prefer red ones, but I think green ones are good too. I don't think I've ever had a red grape in my whole damn life. Huh. Okay. But uh, maybe uh, it's hard to find uh, in Germany good grapes. I don't know. Maybe. Should... I just don't... I don't like the ones that have like the, the, the seeds in them and the other ones I don't know like I find that most of them taste like meh I guess I I don't mind grapes but I, I wouldn't buy them for myself I don't have I haven't ever bought grapes if they're okay. there I'll eat them okay 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 which is vital well. information that we, <laughs> we needed <laughs> to broadcast to people all around the internet Yes, absolutely. Um, I mean, what's your favorite fruit? My favorite fruit is probably uh, raspberries, maybe? Or ma okay. mango. I like mango. Ananas yeah, mango as well. Is... Uh, pineapple, I mean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like those. Yeah, yeah. Those three are really yeah. good. I like if, if you. Uh, oranges are good too. I like if. Uh, uh -huh. My favorite, like, fruit juice is like orange, mango, uh, that, that kind of nice. stuff. Nice. Yeah, I think it tastes really good. Nice. Um, okay, so we stopped talking about grapes because I, I can sense that it irritates you. Uh, <laughs> we will find a we will find a better subject. I, I I'm I'm sure it's uh, it's easy. Um, we've talked about a lot of things already. It's almost uh, two hours. Yeah, so. yeah, we're already at like uh, one forty. Um, maybe we can do like some some more thought experiments, you know, like stuff with uh, with uh, what kind of science would you invent? Maybe stuff like that. Sure, absolutely. Do we have a question ready? Uh, uh, not really. Maybe maybe you can start. Um, yes. Uh, okay, a classic one. If you could have a superpower, which one? Right. Would it be? Yeah, that's the classic one. I that's think it ha it has to be flying, right? It, it's got to be flying. Ah, that's so cliche, man. But okay. Or maybe turning into animals, but not. Oh, but that's I, cool. I wanna, I wanna be able to, like, I wanna turn into an animal minus the body horror. I wanna be able to maintain sanity and think like I normally would. Like, I want my mind to be transferred, as it is. I don't wanna be transported into the body of like. Uh, a, a, a dragonfly and kind of like just go insane by the feeling of having the body of a dragonfly because I think that's what uh -huh. would happen if you were if I were to put your mind inside of a spider you would go crazy like I instantly because just feeling the body of a spider I think would make mm. you go insane so I don't want that I, yes just yeah. being cool with it and 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 having uh, getting to use the 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 skills of that animal would be cool because then you would have flying mm -hmm. you would have shrinking you would have super strength you could have all the stuff what about talking to animals that yeah. would be cool that would be cool too but maybe if you yeah. can turn into an animal you can also then talk to all the other animals that are mm -hmm. that same species like you can communicate mm -hmm. with other fish I guess mm -hmm. I don't think fish, <laughs> fish can talk to each other, but I guess mm. yeah, talking to animals would be cool. But then again, it might also be horrible and horrifying. It might just be like you you go up to like I don't know like a donkey in the zoo and you you're like hey man what's up and he's like my life is like constant agony. Little children come up and they pet me and they try to bring me to, to 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 eat their shitty moldy food that I brought with them and I I am uh, imprisoned forever and for all eternity in here until I die and I have to like walk in my own shit uh, you know you, you ever think mm. like all animals actually like they, they wouldn't really like us or be be nice because we treat them like shit because we think they're lesser than us in some way I mean humans are animals but some people don't really get that yeah, uh, actually, a lot of animals are becoming nocturnal uh, 
right now uh, because they want to avoid humans yeah. as much as possible. And so they notice that we don't go out uh, at night as much as we go out at day. So uh, a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of animals are becoming nocturnal to avoid humans. So Man, I've, I've had like... Probably. I've had a lot of moments where I looked at like an animal and I was just like, man, you must be like so fed up with people touching you <laughs> and looking at you. Like you ever look at like a pigeon in the city and you're like, man, mm. I'm so sorry that yeah. this is your life. I'm so sorry you have to live in this like dirty, horrible yes. shit show of a of an environment and kind of like have a have a, a stubby leg where you're missing a few toes because cars like keep rolling over your foot or whatever or like I don't know people throw stones at you or I don't know like so even pets if people have like dogs or cats I always think like these pets probably hate you like they only stay here because I'm you feed not them. sure I don't know uh, Maybe, well sometimes. you yeah you feed them you feed them good food and, and I don't know they have food they have shelter they have yeah but security. isn't that just like uh, uh, I'm not sure just like Stockholm the pigeon syndrome just, uh maybe a little because you fall I in don't... love with your 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 uh, your, your, your uh, uh prison guard basically because he feeds you i don't know well, maybe if, if maybe pets actually it, love it, us if they have stockholm syndrome then it, then it's fine and they don't hate us yeah if they don't uh, they're it, stupid I, though i guess it's enough well they're beasts they're uh, they're they're animals after all uh, yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure the pigeons uh, are forced to stay in the cities, though. You say that they have to live in this environment. They no, can fly. Yeah. They, can, they can fly. They can go wherever they want. I think they like it here. Yeah, it's just my uh, my weird thoughts on animals. None of that actually makes sense. I mean, I, I know animals don't hate us. I know animals can't really think about that stuff. But I mean, I I'm know. sure that some animals hate us. Uh, actually, I uh, I remember reading recently that cockroaches. Uh, hate us, uh, and yes, <laughs> are cockroaches uh, capable of complex emotions? No, not hate probably, but um, they think uh, we are disgusting. Well, they don't think we're disgusting. Wait a don't... minute, they think they don't we're a... disgusting? Yes, the and audacity! They try... What is this? <laughs> Who are they to say we are disgusting? Well. Uh, there's there have been scientific experiment and well they don't think because insects don't have a a, a brain I I'm pretty sure yeah but, no, um, they just have nervous systems but but, but yeah they, they perceive us uh, as as absolutely filthy and disgusting <laughs> and and they they there there has been scientific experiments recently that prove that uh, they try to avoid us as much as possible. And, <laughs> That's why uh, when you see a cockroach, uh, you know it's bad because the, uh, it's, it means there's so much in your walls that they, they have to uh, yeah. go out. There's go no out more and space you. inside of your walls, and so they're crawling yeah, basically, out. Yeah, basically, basically, oh, that's that's, uh, that's that's really bad. If you see like one cockroach, you're already like you don't yep. want to deal with one. But then also knowing that there's like tons more like inside of your house, that's like. Ugh. Uh, luckily, we don't really have cockroaches in Berlin. Like I, I've only ever seen one in in Germany at, ever. Yeah, we have a lot in Paris. A mm. lot. I didn't uh, see any when I was in Paris. Luckily, but well, uh, it's um, it's all it's uh, a lot like in caves and um, yeah. Uh, I guess um, you don't have them at hotels. <laughs> sewers and uh, well. Hopefully, uh, but uh, but yeah, yeah. Sometimes I see, I see some like in in the street or in in the gutter, huh. or uh, even in the courtyard of my building. Uh, um, there's been a huge infestation uh, of cockroaches in Paris about uh, two years ago. What's going and, on uh, with insects invading Paris? First, first uh, cockroaches, then moths. Uh, no, the moth was it's, it was a, a small village in oh. the south. It was not in it was not in Paris, but well, it's uh, still France. Well, it's um, it's it's normal that uh, uh, that there are, uh, are infestations of um, insects because uh, it's it's a it's a big city and uh, insects like big cities. There's yeah. there's food everywhere. They can hide pretty much everywhere. Also, uh, it's it's warm because uh, all the people and the cars and all that, and so it's uh, it's uh, it's heaven for uh, for insects. 
And uh, so, uh, yeah, because of that and because of uh, global warming, there's been a lot of insect infestation recently here. Uh, there's been a huge bed bug infestation a few years ago, and mm -hmm. then it was co cockroaches. And recently uh, it was uh, the Canadian geese. So that's not insects, but uh, they also, they're, they're kind of like, they're kind of like big pigeons. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, you, ever, you ever think about why they call them cockroaches? Like where did it, where did that name come from? You think they like uh, infested like uh, chickens or something, or hmm. did they eat your dick or something? I don't know. <laughs> cockroaches is such a, I don't know. It's a weird weird word. I guess there's a lot of weird words, but that just like kind of um, came to mind. I think it comes from the Spanish word uh, cucaracha. Oh, that's probably right. Yeah, you're probably right um, about that. Just let just let me check because uh, you're making me really curious uh, but um, yeah talking about the, um, superpowers uh, I, I'm, I just had a thought about what could be cool um, and that would be because uh, when we think about superpowers the, the two answers we always get is Flying or invisibility. Yeah, so I think like invisibility would be horrible, by or, the way. Or so some people say super strength or yeah. super speed. It's like the classics. Or, you know, shooting lasers out of your eyes, shooting yeah. uh, electri electricity out of your dick. Uh, <laughs> but but there's Being there are a lot of... Uh, yeah, but PA. there are a lot of cool powers that, that must be really useful. Like, for example, I just thought about something. Uh, being able to to know if uh, food is good just by looking at it. That's a good power. But like, that's but very because niche, though. It's very niche, but it, be, it would be very useful in, uh, in everyday life. Well, I, I don't know. Food. There's not a lot of cases where food has gone bad and you cannot tell. Like, mostly you will smell oh, it no. or see it. I don't mean gone bad, as in rotten or uh, something. Oh. I mean, I mean, if it's if just if it's good, like uh, you're in a restaurant. Oh, you just it open tastes the, good. You yeah yeah exactly. You could just open the door, look at the the food that the people are eating, and you already ah. you you already know if the restaurant is good or not. Or uh, it's you know, even more you, niche though. Or when you're in the supermarket, uh, you 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 grab a, a pack of biscuits and you just look at the pack and you know. <laughs> how the biscuits inside taste like. <laughs> that would be... I, I think about this a lot because I, I, I've had a lot of disappointments uh, recently. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, that's really funny. Um, I would have never, like, thought about that. <laughs> oh, that's and, uh, Sorry about that. No, no problem. Uh, I'm looking up cockroach before I forget because you made me really curious. Um... Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to... I want a dictionary. Um, uh, damn. Uh, so... Uh -huh. Huh. So it froms come from. Uh, it says onomatopoeic origin. So I, I I guess that they sound like that. Right. Yeah. Uh, it's, yeah. It's weird. I guess it um, is. I don't know. I don't know. We'll never know. It's the it's the great mystery of the cockroach. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. on the topic, uh, I've got another classic question for you. Uh, yes. What would you do? Like, uh, imagine, like, uh, apocalypse. It, it happens right now, you know? It mm -hmm. doesn't matter. It's like zombies or, like, uh, I don't know. Like, it, it, it's, uh, it, it's like the purge out there. What do you... Yes. Like, it, it happens, like, right now. What do you do? Barbecue ribs. Um, I think that... If there's an apocalypse, it's where it's gonna be really hard to have good food, and I really love barbecue ribs, and it's probably gonna be the last occasion that I have uh, to have the uh, you know a good uh, pork ribs. 
So like because a car explodes outside of your window and you just like you immediately you 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 put some ribs in <laughs> on the fire. Yes. And yes. you just sit in your kitchen eating. Yeah. Well people Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Would I you... mean that's that's the first thing that comes to mind. Okay. Uh, it reminds because it reminds me of um of half life uh, I don't know if you remember in the beginning of Half-Life, but uh, there's a, a, a guy and, and you mess with the microwave and his, uh, his food explodes. And shortly after that, there's the, the apocalypse and uh, the thing um, with the, the, the crystals and, and, and shit and the aliens that invade Earth. Yeah. And so it was his last chance at a nice meal and, and you destroyed it. And I think about that a lot. And, well, you uh, say that, but it was microwaving it, so it probably wasn't that good. Uh, I think it was supposed to be uh, a thing that he he brought from home that he was just oh, reheating. Oh, he was like reheating it, I guess. Yes. Oh, this was like the last meal his wife made him. Yep. Or maybe his his uh, husband. No. Who knows? Who knows? But uh, when when you when you meet him uh, again in Half Life Two. Uh, which is supposed to be 14 years later, uh, he still holds a grudge against you because of really? that. Really? I don't remember this at all. Uh, it's in Half-Life 2, Episode 2. Which uh, guy is it? Magnusson. Right. I... The, guy who, the guy who made the, the, the bombs, you know, that you have to oh, throw. Oh, that guy, uh, like right before yeah. you fight like the big tripod things. Exactly oh. at the at the very end of the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And it's that guy, Magnuson. Funny. It's funny you picked up on that. I totally like missed that. But then again, it's been a long while since I last played Half Life Two. Well, there's uh, it's it's a short line of dialogue, and you can easily miss it. Uh, it's uh, it's more like you know you you I've played that game a a, a bunch of times so uh, yeah. I didn't I didn't catch it the first time I catched it the second time. That's cool that they included that. Mm. Uh, also, uh, the um, they have uh, little things like that, and um, the security guy uh, Barney uh, talks about the uh, a beer he he owes you, right? Um, and it also it's the same. It's uh, it's a short. It's half a line of dialogue, and it's, yeah, it's, it's in just the middle a little of the action back. and everything. So it's really easy to miss. It's just a, a little nod. Yeah, uh, just, just the developers having some fun. But yeah. um, you you are in your uh, in, in your apartment right now, and you're eating some ribs, and the world yeah. is uh, ending. Are you yeah. are you like kind of like chowing them down, or are you taking your time? Are you kind of relaxed? Are you are you stressed about all the other all the other stuff you're gonna have to do? Or is your plan just to die eating ribs? You know, I've, uh, I I are you I giving have, us? Uh, I have problems of chronic stress, and I'm I'm always really stressed at yeah. all times. So it's it's not uh, different for me. Uh, I I would be like uh, like every day. Uh, I would be <laughs> incredibly tense because I always I seem like a really chill and relaxed person, but I'm incredibly tense uh, at all times. Yeah, same. And it's it's a problem that I that I've had been uh, having for many many years, and there's there's nothing I can do about it. I, I tried a, a shitload of different medications and none have really helped, mm. and so uh, so I think I would be. Like a like any other Monday, you know. <laughs> the, world, the world not, ending is like any other Monday. I mean, the world could end uh, at at any day. There's a supermassive black hole at the center of the galaxy. Oh yeah, uh, uh, yeah. and it should, should and fan quick. Yeah, and even not talking about huge things like that, I could just get out of my house and get hit by a car and die. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. you, or, could wake you, know, up. you could just have an aneurysm at any moment. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I know a guy. Um, I mean, not, I, it's um, not really a personal connection, but it's like a friend of a friend of a friend. And he was like walking uh, on, the, um, on the street, on the pavement, and he slipped and he, f he fell on, on the pavement and his head hit the pavement in a in a bad angle or something and he, yeah. and he died on on impact yeah my grandparents it, it was just like that 
had a story like that where uh, I think of a, a distant friend of theirs was walking down the pavement and he had his hands in his pocket and also tripped and the same thing happened to him. He was like immediately yeah. dead. Stuff can happen like on any, any yeah. ordinary day. So that's why we need yeah. to cherish life as it is right now and not be yes. mean to each other and not yes. not not try to uh, uh, try to sort everyone into categories of race and sexuality and gender <laughs> and just just enjoy life people because for all we know it's the only fucking thing we got and it's going to be eternal darkness after that and you're never going to feel again so even the bad fucking feelings you got to cherish them you gotta, yes. you gotta take all the shit, all the shit that's being poured onto you, and you gotta swallow it, and you gotta taste it, and you gotta, you gotta look at it to know how it tastes before you taste it, because you have superpowers, and and you eat that <laughs> grape, you eat it. I like grapes. I have some grapes for dessert after the pork ribs, and then the world can end. It's fine. Well, uh, that was episode 7 of Mohi Talk, the worst podcast on the internet. Thanks for listening, thanks for tuning in, and uh, see ya really, really soon, uh, boys and gals. Bye! Don't forget to stay hydrated. Peace! <laughs>